grating dispersive power aim to find the dispersive power of grating apparatus required mercury vapor lamp grating spectrometer the spectrometer is an optical instrument it consists of mainly three parts one is telescope second one is prism table and third one is collimator telescope through which we are going to observe the diffraction patterns and second one is prism table uh, we can either put a prism or a diffraction grating in the prism table this is the collimator uh, it collects light from the source and gives the parallel beam towards the prism table we can adjust the slit using the screw in the collimator it also has a vernier table it consists of two vernier scales let us consider vernier 1 and vernier 2 least count of spectrometer vernier 1 consists of two scale the bottom scale is main scale and the top scale is vernier scale the main scale there are uh, 20 divisions in between 0 to 10 degree 20 division is equal to 10 degree therefore 1 MST is equal to 10 degree by 20 that is equal to 1 by 2 degree it is equal to 30 minutes the top scale is vernier scale the total number of divisions in vernier scale is 60 now we have one main scale division one MST is equal to 30 minutes number of vernier scale divisions is 60 LC is equal to 1 main scale division by number of vernier scale divisions that is equal to 30 minute by 60 that is equal to half minute. Grating A grating is an arrangement consisting of a large number of parallel slits of same width and separated by equal opaque spaces. In this, lines per inch is equal to 12,700. 1, 1 inch is equal to 2.54 cm. Therefore, number of lines per centimeter is equal to 12,700 by 2.54. That is equal to 5,000 lines per centimeter. Before doing this experiment, the telescope is focused towards a long distance object. Now the telescope is ready to receive parallel rays. Now, now the slit in the collimator is eliminated through the mercury vapor lamp. The slit width can be adjusted uh, using this screw. Uh, then turn the telescope, turn the telescope to receive parallel rays from the collimator. Uh, then the slit is adjusted to coincide with the vertical crossbar of the telescope. Uh, then the telescope is moved through 90 degree. In this position, the telescope and the collimator perpendicular to each other. The grating is mounted in the prism table. The prism table is rotated slowly. The reflected image from the grating is coincided with the vertical crosswire of the telescope. Then the angle of incidence is 45 degree. We need to rotate it 45 degree. So the grating is normal to the incident light. Then turn the telescope. Turn the telescope to get the direct image from the collimator. Now we are able to measure the angle of diffraction of different colors. Now, if you are rotating the telescope over left side of direct image, you can observe violet, blue, green, yellow, red. Similarly, if you are rotating the telescope over the right side of the direct image, you can observe different colors like violet, blue, green, yellow, red. 
to measure the diffraction angle of any color in the spectrum in the left side we will coincide the crosswire to the uh, that color and take msr and vsr readings in the vernier 1 and vernier 2 similarly we can measure the diffraction angle in the right side